Well, good evening everybody. Welcome to Fishing Live. We've got a couple of very glamorous guests this evening. The Duffy contingent, Josh Duffy on the right, Pete Duffy on the left. We're here at the River Saw, Sutton Bonington in Nottinghamshire. And it's fair to say it's been a challenging day, but we've learned a bit, haven't we? Yeah, plenty about the bolo and the uh, long pole on using flat floats, big flat floats. Now, Josh here has got an England trial coming up. Um, He's, I've got to say, one of the rising stars of the sport. We're doing very well recent recent years, mate, aren't you? Fair bit on there and colder, really. Uh, not really done too much on rivers, but can learn it all. What do you reckon, Pete? How's he getting on? I mean, he's, he's doing his best, but will he ever be as good as his dad? That's my question. No, definitely of course not. I will. No, no, definitely I not. not. I don't he keeps think so. Trying, I don't think he'll be far off, but I can't, I can't, <laughs> can't say I agree with you. I can't say I agree with you. Right. So what I thought we'd do for the Fishing Live this week is a little challenge, a little bit of something different actually. Um, but the condition, the only way I've managed to get these two to let me do this challenge is I've got to have a go as well. So we've actually got a Fishing Live Balling In Challenge. The prize is there. It's Tunnock's Tea Cake. And I'm going to score you, mate. I'll score you both out of 10 and then you can score me. So sure I can go first, without further ado, the aim is to get the ground bait as close to the pole tip as possible if you hit it hit the pole tip that's 10 out of 10 what if you break that, it you won't break it don't worry about that it's um it's securely in the uh, in the bump bar step up to the mark mate we'll stand next to the box that's the spot okay i'll count you down three two one i'm i'm gonna say that's a nine out of ten go on then nine second ball Oh, oh that's, no. like that's only a six out that's of like ten. A minus, like, that's 15, a minus. 15 out of twenty at the minute. Oh, that oh, weren't bad. That re I revived it. Showing off is that now? Well, that were, that were a ten, yeah. So that's twenty. All right, that's that's twenty. What's that? Twenty-five out of thirty. Come on, then, Pete. Let's see what you can do. You've got your three. We'll try his best. Can't let him win, can we? No. What's the today's no. effort? We've just got some bowling ground bait there, which we've been feeding today. A few of the Fuka micros in it. Oh, oh, that's oh, awesome. no. <laughs> it What have you got to say there. about that, Paul? Nobody <laughs> likes to see that. <laughs> I'm going to have to give that a 4 out of 10, Pete. Sorry, you've got, you've got some work to do. I think the wind we is caught know, it, You'd pull it short, not longer. Oh, dear. That's better, that one. Bad. That were an 8 out of 10. Eight. Right. We'll let you off with that one. 8 out of 10. Double points if we hit the ball tip now. That's Still 12 out of 20, what we got now? Yeah, that's a 7 or an 8, isn't it? Eight. I'd have given that a I'm that 20 out of 30, but it's my turn now, so you know, anything could go wrong. You've got to score me. There we are. I'm going to do this one, folks. Then I'm going to give yeah. you your weekly fishing forecast while Josh catches some bleach. So here we go. Our attempt to. <laughs> no pressure, Tom. Let's see what we can do then. That's a, that's a seven. That's, that's a seven. That's a, I'd give that an eight. Yeah. And I'd give that a seven. seven. Seven, so what's that? That's seven. 22, so I've only just... But you've actually won that. Something can't be right here. Yeah, uh, I, I think we probably need a rematch. I think I, I, I think, I, I think it's... Uh, no. Anyway, Enough, enough talk. I've, I've gone back to the uh, view, the old-fashioned view. Children should be seen and not heard. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't, agree don't you think so, way. Pete? Yeah, definitely. Go on. Right, catch us some, uh, catch us some fishing. While you do it, I'll give these lovely people the weekly fishing forecast. So, what you can expect <laughs> if you're headed out on the bank this weekend? Well, <laughs> as you can see, it's very difficult to eat uh, tea cakes and catch bleak at the same time, isn't it? So we'll give you a little scenic, a little view of the river while he finishes his tea cake. If you're heading out, I think the forecast looks better. The wind's dropping, the temperature is fairly sort of steady, 8 and 9 degrees. And um, I think, to be honest, it's going to be quite a nice weekend to be on the bank. I'm seeing sun, I'm seeing a little bit of cloudiness up and down the, uh, up and down the country, but certainly no rain. Um, and the wind's dropping, which you'll all be really pleased to hear after such a horrible couple of weeks and it's fairly steady both days sort of temperatures between 8 and 10 degrees up and down the country nighttime temperatures between 2 and 3 so maybe a ground frost but I don't think so so if you're going on the commercials this weekend good weekend for long pole fishing I'm thinking because that wind's quite low 
the Winter League final, which we've got on at uh, Decoy Lakes and on the drains. That should be a really good match. If you're heading out on the rivers, hopefully a lot of the flood water we've had over the last week and um, a bit more coming on, on uh, obviously, later this week. Hopefully that will be passing through. The levels will be dropping. As you can see, the saw here at Sutton Bonington has been very, very high and a little bit coloured today. And that's made the fishing a little bit difficult. So the rivers will be a little bit uh, better, I think, with that colour dropping out and hopefully some fish feeding. Cold nights might not make it the best for big fish, but I definitely think you've got a chance if you're heading out on the rivers this weekend. Um, obviously head to them built-up areas for your small fish. We've said that all winter. It's still true now. The town centres, that sort of thing. And if you're going on the canals, likewise. I think, uh, I think it's going to be quite a nice weekend to be out. Head to the built-up areas and you'll, uh, you'll catch some fish. Tactics-wise, again, I think um, roach should feed. You'll be able to present, you'll be able to fish pole quite nicely this weekend. So bread, hemp, that sort of thing. Maybe ground bait with some pinkies or some fucamicos on the hook. And there you have it. And uh, it might be the reigning Tunnock's tea cake champion, but he's not managed to catch his oblique yet. So we're going to sign oh, off for now. It? Seriously, though, keep your eyes peeled for this lad. He, uh, he's very, very good. Josh Duffy, I think he's uh, certainly a hopeful for the England youth team over that <laughs> he says high praise well it is it's deserved he's done very well so i'll uh, i'll see you all next week